Comb jellies are the aliens of the deep. Their transparent bodies are bedecked with lines of waving cilia that power them through the water, reflecting the light in a rainbow of colours. Some have long tentacles to trap prey. Evolutionarily, they're old timers. They branched off from the rest of the tree of life pretty early, 500 million years ago. So scientists expected them to be simple creatures. But in fact, they're capable of quite complex behaviour requiring a decent nervous system. They hunt prey, for example. It's a bit like finding a Ferrari engine in a Ford Fiesta. All in all, they're a mysterious clan. Here's Leonid Moroz, whose group has just published a draft genome of a comb jelly. These are aliens in our backyard. They made a lot of stuff so differently, so we really would like to know how they did it. Looking at the genome is a good way to find out how these creatures have programmed their nervous systems. And there were a few surprises. Andreas Hainol is an evolutionary biologist not involved in the latest paper. It's the second genome which have been published in short sequence uh, of this comb jelly and uh, of two different species. And the findings of these uh, genome sequences and analysis have been found that they have a very reduced uh, gene set to build uh, the whole body. And uh, this reduced uh, set of genes has been interpreted as being very ancestral for animals. You have a very simple genome, but you have a very relatively complex animal which has a nervous system and musculature. So people were surprised by these findings. And not only is it a smaller set of genes, it's also a very different set to those used to build other nervous systems. It's like looking in a Ford Fiesta, seeing a Ferrari engine, and then finding out it's made of wood. People were exploring the genome in further detail and they have found that uh, there must be other molecules uh, patterning and triggering the nervous system than in other animals uh, because uh, the common genes which we know from other animals are not all present in their genome. So they have a complex body but they use different genes to pattern this body obviously. All this means that comb jellies can help answer plenty of fundamental questions about how nervous systems evolved. Here's Moros again. Can neurons evolve once or many times? How to make neurons? How to make a complex brain? Does nature did it only once or multiple times? And why and how? The genome suggests that comb jelly nervous systems operate with a dramatically smaller repertoire of chemicals than our animal brains. Animals use ten major chemicals to send signals between neurons, transmitters like dopamine, noradrenaline and serotonin. Comb jellies use just one, glutamate. It's a totally different setup. And this begs the question, can something as complex as a nervous system evolve more than once? Here's Andreas Hainol again. It has been thought previously that there are characters in animals which are so complex that they cannot be evolved twice. And what the nervous system is one of these things. But the comb jelly nervous system is so different that it must have evolved separately from that of other animals. So the nervous system of these animals is now in focus because it's one of these organ systems which is not present in the next two branches, like in sponges and trichoplugs. So there is the, the possibility that this nervous system has been evolved independently from the other nervous system. This findings change a little bit the view of how we have to see evolution and how evolution works. Comb jellies could even serve as inspiration for anyone wishing to design nervous systems for synthetic organisms, the authors say. Why use ten chemicals when you could get by with one? That was Andreas Hainel and before him Leonid Moros.